So for anyone who's on the fence about whether the COVID-19 vaccines really work, I want to do a comparison between the United States and the United Kingdom. And I'm pulling my data from ourworldanddata.org. This is a really cool site where you can compare countries based on death, cases, hospitalizations, vaccinations, almost anything to do with COVID. And you can even turn on and off countries to compare them back and forth. But we're going to look at the United States versus the UK. And as for daily new confirmed COVID-19 cases per million people, you can see that the US and the UK were very close on January 14th, 2021. And as of September 8th, the UK is actually leading the United States by a little bit. And that's despite the fact that the UK was vaccinated more early than the United States and is overall 11 points more vaccinated than the US today. But while nine in 10 over 50s people in England were fully vaccinated in June, the United States falls well behind that. But to compare numbers head to head, you have to take into account that the US has 328 million people and the UK has 66 million people. So all these numbers were gonna multiply the UK number by 4.92 to make it equal to the US population. So as you can see, right at the beginning of the vaccine rollout on January 14th, the US had 239,000 cases and the UK had 53,000 cases, which we adjusted 261. So they were actually above the US. In hospitalizations, the US had 133,000. The UK had the equivalent of 185,000. So they were higher. And the US had 3,420 deaths, while the UK had 1,000 deaths, which equals 5,829, so way above the US. Now let's see how they are doing now. So if you look at September 8th, you can see that the US had 151,000 cases and the UK had the equivalent of 190,000 cases. This is 36% under the January total, and this is 27% under the UK's January total. But here's the kicker, despite the UK having more cases than the US, when we look at hospitalizations, you can see the US has 96,000 hospitalizations, while the UK has just 8,000. That adjusts to 39,000 to 96,000 for the US. This is 27% under the January total, and this is 78% under the January total. And finally, those deaths on September 8th, the US had 1,499, which is 56% under their January total, but the UK had just 133, which adjusts to 654. That's less than half of what the US has, and that's 88% under that January total. So yeah, vaccinating your elderly, vaccinating more of your population, it matters for hospitalization and deaths, not so much for cases, but it protects those people from dying in the hospital.